I, f I feel, I know that I'm in love with this girl and I hope that she's in love with me, but we still have to sit down on the I don't really know what it is with Meghan Markle because why does she have to completely erase people from her past? Her father, her siblings, Trevor, her best friend, childhood friend in Akipriti, whom she wasn't separate from. And, and then invent a new narrative as though those people didn't exist. And most of it all, what's baffling to me is who is helping Harry and Meghan cover up all their secrets. I am sick and tired of it. You know, it's incredible. They are being helped to cover up all their secrets. Everything is hidden, hidden secrets. No, the hidden childbirth, uh, the hidden uh, birth certificates, the hidden first date, everything is cover up. So why am I talking about this? And I'm gonna talk about some things that are a little bit, um, how shall I put it, delicately controversial. What made the Duchess blush on her first honeymoon. Meghan Markle reveals 13-year-old boy crawled into her shower cubicle and tried to steal her underwear during, during New Zealand getaway. Oh, Meghan Mar Markle blushes? Yes, because you know who was a natural blusher? Princess Diana. There's nothing that, make, um, that can make this bl woman blush. I mean, this woman has been around the block. I, we've talked about this. So here we see her going in that caravan that she, they went to New Zealand with her then husband, Trevor, right? Keep in mind that she went, the only time she's been in a van is when she went with Trevor on her honeymoon, right? So here we go, Megan takes on van life. Even before Megan became a part of the royal family, she took a serious amount of luggage when she traveled. Take a look at the Instagram post below in which we can see she's filled three large cases for a trip. She was vacationing in New Zealand and decided to do, to do it in a camp van, camper van. No, she was not vacationing in New Zealand. She was honeymooning in New Zealand. But this is the things that, that I, I am baffled by it, you know, because here you see Maggie, you know, with everything. This picture was taken by Trevor Engelson, right? And here she goes, I was told to let go of my impressions of RV culture in the U.S. Because you see, for her, going on an R, you know, using an RV was beneath her. Which lets, you know, if you're a poor person, like the way she said that she had to work at the age of 13 in order to help her feed her family. That she had to do scrunchies, make scrunchies for the hair because that's how or she was, right, while going to all these private schools. So she goes, um, I was told to let go of my impressions of RV culture in the U.S., that it was a totally different thing in New Zealand, I was told. She means that Trevor Engelson told her, her then husband told her, that they were going to New Zealand and they were going to go in an RV. She said at the time, it was 2015, and Megan absolutely loved her time there. It's magical and otherworldly, and you become acutely aware of how intuitive, engaging, and playful these beautiful creatures are. It was unfortunate, and it was an unforgettable experience. So it was 2015, Megan. You were already divorced from Trevor Engelson. By 2014, he was already gone. He he's not, he not, wasn't even part of your life. What is this woman going on about? And these kind of blatant lies are covered up. Now they're secret. Someone told me to let go of the RV. No, 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 no. This is another one. Megan's early inspiration. Megan actually grew up visiting filming sets as a little girl. Her dad was the lighting director and director of photography for Fox's Married with Children and it had a big impact on her. Every, every, listen to this, every day after school for 10 years, I was on the set of Married with Children, which is really funny and perverse place for a little girl in a Catholic school uniform to grow up. She told Esquire in 2018. First of all, Married with Children was not a corn site. It was a TV series of married children. It was actually a comedy. There was nothing perverse about it, okay? And 
If she was there every day for 10 years, she wasn't after the age of 17 and 18 because she was too old. And after when she, got, when she turned 17, somebody gave her a car. Okay, so we see her, she no longer needs to be, you know, picked up every day, which debunks the story that Doria was there for 11 years uh, when, for, for her all the time. Because now Carolyn Graham just did a, a, um, an article about Doria. The Doria um, basically never left Megan. The Doria simply gave her a share custody with her father, uh, with Megan's father, because she was starting a clothing empire, of course, which failed. So we've gone from uh, what Doria was a stewardess, that she worked as a, in a travel agency, which is what Megan has said before, that because her mother worked at a travel agency, they were able to take all these vacations, right? So if she was every day on the set of Married with Children for 10 years, that means that Meghan Markle started going there when she was six years old. Because by the age of 17, she was no longer going there because she had her own car. She was driving herself back and forth. She didn't need to do that. She was spending most of her time at Inaki Pretty's home. So now we're covering up where Doria was, what Megan was really doing. We're covering up all the lies. Now they're all hidden. Now if we talk, we're trashing. Why are you trashing this woman? Why? Because this woman is still, I did a video yesterday and I got accused a lot of clickbait, right? I was not clickbaiting. The problem is that YouTube does not allow you to upload a video, even from the title. I spent over an hour trying to see which title would allow me to put up because what I really wanted to put in that title yesterday was Hollywood downgrades the D-list Duchess. For some reason, it wouldn't allow me to do it. Okay. Even though there were no swear words or anything there, we could, I even bookworm and I couldn't upload a book, uh, the video that says, uh, Megan yachting, anything that you have Megan and yachting, it's really, at least for me and for bookworm too. I don't know if it's the region or what, but now we have Carolyn Graham saying that Doria started a clothing empire, that she never abandoned Meghan Markle. That is absolute BS. We have Meghan Markle. I mean, she went to New Zealand, not vacationing, honeymooning, and it was Trevor Engelson who took her. But now we're covering that up. We're covering up how they met. And why am I going hard on her? She is... Harry and Meghan have been told that for purposes of stuff like yesterday, like where Harry was at this football game, they cannot use the titles. They have to go by their own titles. Sorry, by their own names, which pissed Meghan Markle off to no end because she wanted the Duke and Duchess of Sussex there. She doesn't like her name. You see, for Meghan... It's either she's the Duchess of Sussex or no one at all. Because the Duchess of Sussex can't stand Meghan Markle. And what is worse, Meg the Duchess of Sussex, neither the Duchess of Sussex nor Meghan Markle can stand Harry. There's two reasons why she didn't go to that thing yesterday. One, because it wasn't her event. Because she needed Harry to be with her. I'd be at the Beyonce concert because everybody was making fun of her for the fact that she wasn't at the <laughs> Taylor Swift concert. We know she wasn't. But why put out those lies and why are they covered up? Why are people are ride or die with this woman so hard and with Harry? You know, so it's uh, now there has to be a lot of footage out there. And of course, of her having a dance and of course, of Harry hugging her. Harry did his little appearance there pretending to be locked up for the cameras. But Meghan Markle can't be bothered once again to lend him support when it comes to going to the football match. Why? Because they would be in actually a list VIP thing. Probably they were, she was told not to come. I don't know because I am surprised that Megzi would not attend a real VIP event where she would be among VIPs. So I have a suspicion that maybe she was told not to come, that only Harry was welcome, that her name was put in there, but she wasn't really welcome. And because the Duchess of Sussex was not invited, the Duchess of Sussex did not show up. Also, 
she can't really stand Harry. She can't fake uh, that. She's not a good actress. She can't fake love in front of so many people when, when the cameras are right there. It's not the same when you have your sycophants taking the, the cameras and, and other people doing, uh, you know, like pretending you're jumping among other people. There she would have been front and center with A-listers with cameras fixed on her. And she would have had to pretend to like Harry, which she can't because they both can't stand each other. Clearly, Harry looks happier without her. They're both skanks. Harry, let's get into Harry's past. And this is, this, this is, these are all allegations, but there's a ring of truth. His cruelty towards animals, the racism against his own fellow soldiers. And the only reason why he went to Afghanistan for that shameful, shameful PR exercise was to rehabilitate his image about the racism, the abuse towards his fellow soldiers, and the fact that he was abusive towards women. These are all my thoughts and opinions. Because if we go by spare the book, we know how misogynistic, what a misogynistic pig he is. And in the little video that you're going to see right after this, they did a, Prince William and Prince Harry did, a, did an interview, and Prince Harry's asked, he's asked point blank if he liked the United States. And he said, it's horrible or terrible or something like that. So you know, they had to take it back. They did another reshoot. This is why you see, like, because this little video was edited for him to later go on and say, no, it's a vast place. I love it, blah, blah, blah. It's great. It's brilliant, whatever. But actually, he meant it when he said that. You can see Prince William. He, I love it. The USA people are amazing. But not Prince Harry. Prince Harry, this is really what he thought. They cut it because, remember, those interviews are edited. Okay? So, yes. Just like he said he hated being a prince, but call me prince. Just like he says, I don't want titles, but say titles. And then he talks about, he's asked what he would do if he weren't a prince. And then he says he would go to Africa and work as a safari tour guide and do philanthropy um, afterwards. So he split his time doing that. I did not know that Montecito was in Africa. <laughs> So let's get into how shady is Harry and who is covering this up? Who's covering all of these lies from Harry and Meghan Markle and Doria? Now even Doria is in the package. She benefits in the package of covering up for them. You've been to the United States. You spent a little time in Tennessee. You mentioned Disney World. What are your impressions of the U.S.? Horrible. <laughs> oh my God. No. You know that's the headline. Yeah, that's, yeah, horrible. <laughs> Harry calls U.S. Horrible. horrible. Uh, no, it's, I think it's, it's such an amazing place. It's so vast and on such a massive scale. And there's so much to do and it's so different. I love America. I think it's brilliant. I have a really good time over there. Um, everyone's really friendly, welcoming, and, and yet they're, not, they're very good at sort of not being too invasive. No, it's, it's cool and, and it'd be nice to get back to America sometime soon. Mm. I don't know how well this would get out, but I'd probably live in Africa. I'd like to spend all my time out there. Um, in, in a humanitarian? Uh, both. It would be a humanitarian aspect and as well as a sort of safari aspect. As a job, it would probably be a safari guide and then... It would be really good for me because you wouldn't be around, you see, so i get the highest of the same At the same time, you know, splitting my time between a charity, you know, in the suit, probably the suit as well. If, you know, if I became normal tomorrow... If you like what you see, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Please do buy the merch. It really helps the school. Um, yeah, I have city mugs, city mouse pads. I have uh, pictures that I've taken that are going on mugs and mouse pads. Also, the t-shirts, all of that goes to help the school. So, please, uh, I appreciate all of you. Thanks to the people who bought. Um, greatly appreciate it. Check that you're still subscribed. And once again, just thank you for being here. And thanks for always supporting the channel. Oh, Harry. But Harry's just a mischievous, very well-loved prince, isn't he? <laughs> Famous son got very rough. This blind item involves a famous guy from a prominent family. He's been in the news a lot lately. We have a story to tell you that may impact what you think of him. Years ago, when he was in the military, he used to go off base with his buddies when they had a night off. 
Although they regularly drank to excess, it was not his alcohol consumption that caused the local police to intervene in his bad behavior. You see, our boy used to hire local workers to service his needs, his carnal needs. Those sessions inevitably got mm, rough. He was very physically rough, so rough that the frightened uh, sock workers had to call the police. Granted, these were sock workers and traditionally not the most reliable witnesses. But this happened multiple times and their stories were very consistent. This is what people like um, Harry do. They count that the, the people that they abuse or they are violent towards, how their reputations are tainted for what they do, in spite of the fact that his reputation is being protected and covered up by Buckingham Palace. Because if people knew a third of what Harry is like, people would be calling for him to be in jail. What stories did they tell? They all described being drunk, him being drunk, and how his conduct always turned violent, punching, slapping, choking, hair pulling, etc. It was violent enough that the girls thought that he would permanently hurt them. They were genuinely frightened of him. How did the local police handle it? Normally, when something like this happens, off base, the offender would be arrested and then the local police and the military would determine whose jurisdiction, jurisdiction it fell under. Then the case would work its way through either the civilian judicial system or the military judicial system. Is that what happened here? No, because of his family, none of that ever happened. The girls would be treated for their injuries and he would just get sent back to base. No arrests, no attorneys, nothing. He was strictly <laughs> off limits. Sorry about that. Somebody came. <laughs> so, no, because his family, is that what happened here? Let's just recap here. No, because of his family, none of that ever happened. The girls would be treated for their injuries and he would just get sent back to base. No arrests, no attorneys, nothing. He was strictly off limits and neither judicial system would pursue the case. How often did this happen? Because he was never really punished, he got away with it multiple times. At first, every girl wanted to service him because of who he was, but eventually word got around that he would hurt you. It's a small community of sock workers around the base and after this happened a few times none of the girls would take his business so it stopped remember when he used to be the fun partying likable member of his family those days are long gone now he's a husband and father and is seriously consumed with making money by getting involved in a variety of business deals in my opinion all involved trashing his family since he's so busy, perhaps his wife could take the time to write some uplifting notes to the girls he beat up, maybe in bananas. <laughs> this is the city. This is directly the Royal UK website, right? There's the king. You click here, you go to the royal family. The role of the royal family, members of the royal family work together to support the king in his official duties. This is directly from the royal website. And then below we have who the members of the royal family are who are supporting the king. To, let me see, um, carry out his duties in representing him, right? So we have the king, we have Camilla, we have the Prince of Wales, we have the Princess of Wales, she's so cute, I really like her. We have the Duke of Edinburgh, I love him. Oh, Sophie, the Duchess of Edinburgh, I adore her, I really do, I really do, guys. Oh, 
hands down my favorite royal. You know who's about to come up. Kick-ass princess and her royal highness. Yes, I, I, easy. she's my, easy, my favorite. Um, the Duke of Gloucester. The Duchess of Gloucester. The Duke of Kent. Princess Alexandra. The Duke of Sussex. The Duchess of Sussex. And yes, below we have Prince Andrew. And let me see here. The Duke of Sussex. What does it come up here? The Duke of Sussex is fifth in line to the throne. And they go and blah, blah, blah. Look how extensive his, um, his uh, CV are. Is because this is his CV. And here it says, the Duke and Duchess have stepped back as senior members of the royal family. Not stepped down. They're, they are balancing their time between the United Kingdom and North America. Continue in to honor their duty to the king, the commonwealth, and their patronages. Yes. Harry's still working for the royal family, and so is Meghan, and this is why it's... So for people who still think that Harry is a nice guy, or that think that Harry was in Afghanistan because he truly wanted to be a veteran, this is a man who right now on Netflix just announced that the first time he saw a wounded soldier and saw the cost of war was on his way back from Afghanistan, from his very cozy place where he was guarded by at least eight SAS elite <laughs> bodyguards. By the way, each and every one of those bodyguards uh, was expensive. They are very, very expensive. So it was a huge cost to the taxpayers to have Harry play soldier to rehabilitate their PR because Buckingham Palace knew that there were things coming out that they need to that they needed to cover. And even when he was in Afghanistan, this was going on. We know that Eaton has covered up for him. We know that Sanders has covered up for him. We know that he didn't have the grades to make it to 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 Sandhurst Academy to begin with. I don't think he even had the grades to graduate from Eaton, to tell you the truth. We know that his aide helped him pass the test at Sandhurst. We know that Sandhurst, they had a ball or something like that, a party, and they had ladies of the night come in and, and do stuff, you know, which is illegal. And we know that the things got rough and they were covered up. Everything about Harry is covered up and Meghan Markle is not benefiting from the cover-up because her lies are so obvious. So which lies are we to believe? And because Charles still has them on the website. Yes, he still does. So do you think that they're still working royals? I just showed you that it says there the definition of working royals. It says there in the royal website that I just showed that little clip. And I've shown you that Meghan and Harry are there as working royals representing His Majesty the King. Is that why their secrets are being covered up? Is that why their lives are being covered up? Is that why there are no consequences? And these people have brought a lot of trouble to the United Kingdom and the Commonwealth. They have created a lot of hatred towards everything and everybody in relation to the monarchy. Harry is still trashing the royal family and no consequences. He's laughing at the football match. You know why he's laughing? Because he knows full well that Pa has his back. What do you guys think? Do you think that these articles are true? Do you think that Harry actually did this? Or do you think he was truly a veteran? Do you think he was ever in any danger? Or would he have gone had he been in danger? Of course not. That's my opinion, but what do you guys think? Do you think that Meghan went alone vacationing by herself on an RV to New Zealand in 2015? Do you think that Doria was, didn't abandon Meghan and just was having this clothing empire which suddenly collapsed? Why are people twisting the narrative? 